So let me just turn away from the smartphones for a while, and I'm coming back to the, to the computer. Okay. Uh, I will talk about Angola. My name is Marcel. I come from the University of, of Alcala, where I'm doing my, my PhD uh, work. Um, first of all, I would like to talk about uh, what is League of Legends, because maybe not everyone knows the games. Um, League of Legends is a MOBA, which means Massive Online Battle Arena. Massive means that a lot of uh, people play it, it's absolutely online. I mean, all the action happens in the same, in the same place. Okay? When we say millions of players, it's uh, 3 million players. Last figure says that uh, it surpassed, surpassed uh, 100 million unique players in a, in a month. So it's really, actually it's the most online, uh, the most played online game. Okay? It's team based which is really, really interesting and gives a lot of uh, interesting interactions uh, because it's two times the five uh, teams of five people every, every team. So there is collaboration and there is, uh, there is competition at the same time. The Lessons and Defense of the Ancients too are the main uh, actors in, in the MOBA, let's say, ecosystem. They are leaders in esports also, which is a related uh, phenomenon. And they have been also known a lot because most of the studies until now have uh, work around what is toxic behavior. These games have a lot of competition, have a lot of, let's say, aggressive uh, play. So it's normal that some players really uh, have some strong uh, opinions in same thing. Okay. And first. As we will talk about uh, champions and, and lore, I will just to introduce you what is a, a champion. Okay? So, five people play the game in, in a team, and every single person chooses one champion. Okay? Champions in the end are, let's say, the play controller characters. Okay? So, you, know, you play in the game as, a, as one of these champions. There are more than 130 different champions you can choose. So, in every game, you can play a different one if you want. The point here is that they can be owned. So, I mean, there are some um, initial champions like this, like the basic packets, but apart from that, you can actually spend money um, going, buying some champions, or you can just by playing the game, you can uh, earn influence points and purchase them in game. Okay? But there is an interesting thing they can also be used for free in some periods. So, every week, there are eight of these uh, champions that they change over, over time then that can be used for free. So it's your location to try them or to do some different things and decide if you want to buy it or not. Okay? And then there is an interesting thing that happens in a lot of these uh, kind of things <coughs> that is metagame. Okay? Metagame means that all the parts of the game that happen outside the game. Actually. There are 130 champions and not are equal. Not all are equal. Okay? So, depending on the period of time, the changes that the Riot, who is the maker of the game, does, there are some champions that become better than others. Okay? This changes over time. So, people tend to use the ones that they feel are better in that, in that moment. And Lord, which is uh, really uh, what drives this, uh, this paper, is the history or background of every character. So, you can play the game and just go into the game, choose champion, play, or you can become interested in the histories that are behind these characters. Okay? There are some clusters of characters that uh, say okay, they come from an, a mythical world that is like uh, Egypt, some come from the Nordic countries, so kind of in a fantasy world, but uh, there are some interweaved histories that uh, get inside the game. And then, in 2015, there was one huge Okay. So Riot, who is the maker of the game, never put a lot of focus on the histories behind the characters. But they did something different last year. And during three weeks, they did a huge event that was communicated over the game. And it basically affected four characters. It introduced also a, a long history, to say like this. Uh, it's 10,000 uh, words, which is not a lot. But at least it's like three chapters of a, a normal book or a novel or whatever. <coughs> and these were the four <coughs> characters that were affected by this, this history. Okay? 
And on top of that, two of the of these champions were what uh, we say we were, which means that all the abilities change, even the physical aspect of the champions change, because something happened in the history that uh, <coughs> let's say made sense to change on, on the champions. Okay? And the most important thing is that there was actually one character that died in that story. So in a never seen move uh, from the maker of the game, there was one champion that was actually disabled for a while because it had died in the, in the story. Okay? So there was one champion that wasn't playable for a while because something happened in a side story uh, that, let's say, made sense to, to do this move. Okay. <clears throat> Some of the researches uh, show that champion usage, so uh, how many people play one particular champion, is um, significantly uh, influenced for the free, uh, by the free rotation. Okay. So it means that when the champion is free, more people play the champion, well, which makes sense because people want to try new things, it's free, so uh, it's easy to do. And there is also a second variable, which is the cost. Okay, there are some champions that are newer, are more expensive, so people like to try the ones that are more expensive, because before doing that purchase, they prefer to, to try it. And then <clears throat> there is also an interesting finding that says that when something changes uh, on a champion, more people also want to try it. So imagine that they change the aspect, so let's play the champion because something is new. Okay? So that's the, the general idea. But then we thought, okay, let's try to see if that special event did something to the game. So the point is that when we started looking into, into it, we, did, we checked all the characters that were uh, affected by the, the event, and we found that those particular champions had more usage than in a traditional free rotation uh, week. But then we did a, sec a second check, or we did another group, and we found that actually, if we analyzed only those champions, there was not a lot of difference between when those champions were free and uh, when we had this event going on. Okay? So let's say that uh, but for some champions, it actually drove some extra users, but overall, it didn't do much. But what we found, and is the interesting part here, is that actually uh, not a lot of players uh, were playing that champion as an extra, uh, extra players, but what a lot of players did was to look over the internet, in this case this is Google Trends uh, data, to understand what was happening there. And the point here is that this is the data for the main champion that was affected by a special event. And the searches for that particular term went absolutely over the roof during that period. Okay? Um, usually players look over the internet for what they call builds or counters, so to understand how this champion is played. Uh, should you buy this particular item during the game? Uh, is it better playing in one lane or in another lane? So that's the normal things they look for, and if you see it here, in the three rotation periods, there is always a peak because people want to try the champion, they want to understand how it's done. But in that particular period, it went like five times over. Okay? As the champion was the protagonist, the main uh, character in a related history, they became more interested in, in the champion. And what was even uh, more insightful is that they started to look not only about how to build the champion, how to play in the game, but also about what happened in the history. So they started to look uh, why uh, the, the character was dead, what happened, and they started to go to read the history, uh, the background history on that on that game. Okay? And even if you check the full 2015, some of those terms only, let's say, relevant during three weeks, get on the top of the list uh, for the game. And, and they are mainly related to what happened to that particular okay. So in summary, we found that special events can impact uh, usage. If 
they are focused. That door motivates some players, not all, uh, players that get interested in, in stories, about uh, understanding more of the champion and the background story. And, and the biggest point here is that in the end, they become interested in the champion, they become interested in reading about the champion, and this text can be at least as complex as other classroom texts. Okay? And to see it, uh, Stein Queller, who is uh, one of the researchers that um, has worked more about, uh, let's say, uh, the complexity of texts in, in video games and how this can help um, some students to actually read at the same level of uh, other students. Uh, the point is that this literacy practice are at least as cognitively complex as other, uh, let's say, more traditional goals of, of education. <laughs> and that's all. So, if there are any questions, I think I will thank you for the discussion.